Hey Pop Angels, so today's video is going to take a look into the personal life of the person who portrays Lieto Mapotla. Now his name is Eric Macheru, he was born on the 25th of February 1986 in Bolokwane in the Limpopo province of South Africa. He then grew up in a township called Sisejo with both of his parents and his three brothers. Sadly, one of his brothers passed away in 2007. Eric grew up in a Christian family and his father loved sports and influenced Eric to venture into soccer. Little did he know soccer would earn him a good life. Eric attended Kusheke Agriculture High School. After high school, he began acting which was fascinating enough for him. Therefore, he equipped himself with a degree in film from AFTA, aiming to do more than just read a script in a front of a camera. Eric is currently busy studying multimedia at AFTA. He says he decided to add multimedia to his film degree as it will help him move into his passion, which is advertising and communication. Now, before his acting career began, he was actually a soccer player. He reached the height of his career when he won the SABC1 reality competition Soccer Kings in 2005 and was then allowed to train for a week overseas with the English Premiership Club Tottenham Hotspur. Throughout his career, he got a one-year contract with Highlands, Cape Town and a sports management contract. Eric's career ended while he was playing for Ajax Cape Town when he got a career-ending injury. He then made a crucial debut in 2012 in Zanzi Magic telenovela in Gaba. He played the role of Rick, a top model on Fumi's level described as the Tyson Bigfoot of Ngaba world. Afterwards, he landed a role on Flozy Street Season 1, playing the role of Msindo. In addition, Eric played um, on various other telenovelas, short films. However, the role which we all know and love him is as Lieto Maputla. Now, Lieto Maputla is the son of one of the prominent families in the turf lobe community and he's whole role has definitely evolved when we met Leto, i think he had just finished high school or he was in his last years of high school about to go to university and we saw him as this troublesome adolescent who was trying to figure his life and we saw his evolution from him being this wild boy trying to understand life to him falling in love to getting married to dealing with divorce and then trying to get his life back together and seeing him being a lawyer and currently we see him on trial for the murder of dragon now one thing i loved about eric's character it showed how life really is you know life is a never-ending up and down journey we saw him at his lows and we definitely saw him at his highs now, i'm actually surprised that he's still in the show because he definitely is one character who doesn't really have a storyline besides the dragon storyline like unfortunately after Mohadi left the show and Noah is in jail you know he doesn't really have anything holding him back I feel like this whole dragon saga actually is the reason why he's still in the show and I'm really interested to see after they come back with the verdict what's actually going to be of his character it's actually very surprising that in all these years he never had a child because he was a wild boy and he did also get married 
however it would be very interesting to see him uh, have another person in his life and start his life and start new drama there because it would keep longevity in his character because in every single show we do need those veteran actors from that series you know if every single person is going to leave the show it's going to be really boring after a while but we definitely do can't wait to see his role evolve as time goes by now getting to his private life he has been dating his longtime girlfriend identified as claudia and they do have a bouncing baby boy named marvin francis macheru now everyone has loved the fact that he has stayed humble it definitely shows you that when someone portrays a character well you start thinking that the character that they portray is who they are on tv leto does come off very stuck up he also does come off like someone who isn't a friendly person unlike his brother tibos who you could see was truly loved in the community Lieto stays to himself, he isolates himself and that was one of the main reasons why I said that it was very difficult to see him have a storyline besides the whole dragon story because he's not someone who integrates himself in the community and now because of that portrayal people were actually really surprised to see that in real life he's someone who knows a lot of people he's someone who hangs around a lot of people he knows a lot of people in the entertainment industry as well as he's really friendly outside working sets with his colleagues anyway we can't wait to see what the future has for eric whether he's going to stay on skim sam or go on to another sitcom or tv show or even a movie we never know and we definitely do know that he continues to study so what if he's going to be behind the camera one day but anyway we have come to the end of today's video don't forget to like subscribe and hit that post notification